Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a little bit of a run through of my live preset on the XFX. Now, uh, what I kind of wanted to do here was spark some discussion for those of you that use modelers or basically any type of setup. I'd be very curious to know how you set up your playing for live play specifically. Um, and so for me, I am a type of guy that likes to use one preset and have everything available to me on the floor and just stick with that. Now, I know there are lots of different ways to skin the cat. Um, some guys will use different presets for every song, and they'll have a specific sound dialed in with specific beats per minute, and, and they'll just cycle through hundreds of presets throughout a night. Um, and there are other guys, you know, the XFX has scenes that you can use to get a ton of different sounds. Um, and so there's just a lot of different ways to do it. So I'd be very curious to know what your guys' style is, and, and hopefully this can be informative for somebody if you're looking to set up a live rig, maybe with an XFX, that, that maybe this could be something that helps you. So, um, I'm going to make this preset available for download for those of you that have XFXs. If not, maybe you can just look on and learn this, some of this for yourself. So, like I said, I use one preset for all of my live playing. So it's all based around a Marshall Plexi, and I... What I tend to do is I like to think about it in terms of an A, B, and a C. Your A is always going to be your bass clean sound. Your B is going to be kind of your rock rhythm light crunch. And then your C is your lead where you really want to stick out. And so for me, when I put the guitar on 10, that's my B sound. So that would be... So pretty uh, good crunch going on there. And then I roll back the volume knob on the guitar to about five. Maybe still a little bit of hair on the notes, but I don't really play that often with a pure clean sound. That's just my style. And then my C sound, I have a boost set up. Uh, and this boost is coming after the the amp and the drives. So this is kind of like putting a boost kind of in the effects loop, sort of, where you're taking the signal and you're, you're just increasing the volume three decibels. <laughs> So again, just taking everything and just punching it up a notch. Uh, that's the way I like to set it up. So that's really my gain structure. Now, I could play 90% of what I do on those settings, but I also have a fuzz, a fuzz face specifically, in the XFX setup that I have just kind of for fun. Uh, it mostly, like I said, is just for fun. So let's hear that. <laughs> just takes things up even another notch but like I said with that clean on three with is my a my B on 10 and my C with the boost I could cover 90% of what I need to do really the fuzz is just for fun so um, next let's talk about the end of this chain so I have kind of a funky setup here but I really like it and I really want to walk through it so that you understand what's going on so I have two delay pedals and then two reverbs 
Now this chorus is only on this delay affecting only the wet signal. So it's kind of like adding my own modulation into the delay itself, only affecting the repeats. So first and foremost, let's hear this delay. This is my, I have one set to quarter notes. This is an tape delay. So a couple things to note there. One is that it's pretty dirty. I've got some drive going. Um, there's some modulation happening. And there's also quite a bit of EQ going on where I'm rolling off some of this top end right at about 37, 3,700. Uh, and so it's it's a very, and actually the mid range is being poked up just a little bit. So it's a, the repeats are very mid range focused. So with this boost and also with this drive, it gets very kind of grainy. <laughs> Kind of dirty and warbly. I really like it. It's got a lot of character, a uh, very unique sound. Now, it also is very specific, the number of repeats, so. There's about five audible repeats there, maybe a couple more that are really quiet. I have the levels, what I do is, because it's in parallel, the mix is 100%, and then I use the level control to kind of control the actual mix as a pseudo mix control, but ensuring that my dry signal is 100% untouched. So this is just wet delay feeding into a chorus. And the chorus is providing some more modulation, more of that warble. Now the uh, important thing here is that the level is is down just slightly, maybe from what I would do. So it kind of sits in the background, especially with that top end roll off on the EQ and some of the graininess and the repeats. It just kind of sits in the background. And you don't really hear it as. <laughs> It's not so in your face. Now, if we go to this digital delay, this one is much different. It's a pure digital delay. So, uh, and the EQ is, is almost perfectly untouched. No real modulation to speak of either. So very, and if you'll notice, um, it just is a lot more in your face. much more in your face, but there's fewer repeats. So maybe about four or so, just maybe one less repeat, but the mix is a little bit higher, more in your face, primarily because of the way it's EQ'd. And then what I really enjoy doing is combining them both together and you listen for the contrast between the two sounds. I just really like the way that those two sounds interact. You have the quarter note delay providing more of the wash and the, the, the character. And then the dotted eighth note is given that really percussive, uh, almost very rhythmic 
response. So those are the two delays. I really enjoy this setup. Also, note I have them, them set to mute in. So that means that when it comes into this chain, if this is off, then the signal does not go through and it's just the pure dry signal underneath. All right, now let's talk about the reverb. So I spent a long time trying to figure out what I want to do with these reverbs and I love this current setup. So on the X effects, you have what are known as X, Y states. So um, on this X state, on this reverb, which is set in parallel, so dry signal goes right through, just wet, mix 100%, and then use the level knob to set the true mix. I have just a very basic, let's turn that off, very dry, so just a little bit of room, not a lot. Then I have a Y state, which goes to a deep space and a lot more Lot more ambience and character there, but if you notice, my dry signal is completely unaffected. So I really like this on parts where I need to have the, the initial transient of the note, but then want to kind of flesh it out with something underneath, and you don't want the, the reverb to just completely drown out the the initial attack of the note. And then I have this second reverb, which is set up for ambience, also very intense. The mix is super high. It's actually boosting the level a little bit. And this is overtaking the dry signal. So this is very like, this back to X. So then with them together, you have huge reverb and it's really good for swells and um, things like this. enjoy that and I have all the different layers in between so I could go back to the X on my main reverb so then it's just really washed out so that's like a step below and then I could go back to the Y and turn the second reverb off and then I still have the can still hear that pick attack. So um, that's my setup with these reverbs. It's kind of crazy, but I really, really enjoy it. And I, I would recommend checking it out. Uh, I really like the way the X-Effects could do it. Then if you put them all on together, you just get kind of this really over the top ambient sound. Really nice for swells. Now, I also want to talk about my volume pedal. So, I have a volume pedal set up on my Behringer for just for swells. You can see it's going up and down there. Now, the placement is very important. I really enjoy placing this after what is drive and amp specifically. So, my amp is providing my overdrive and then my boost also. So, this these sections cover my A, B, and C gain sounds. And then the volume pedal is after all of that. So what that allows me to do is use my guitar and my pedals to set kind of the, the gain structure and the character without getting into the cleanup. So like if I turn everything off, you know, one, one thing we mentioned was how that the XFX is very responsive. So my guitar is on three. My guitar is on 10. Yeah. 
So if I would put the volume pedal up front, it would be doing that job in duplicate. It would be giving me that swell from clean to dirty on the amp, as well as the swell into the, the delay and the reverbs. And I don't want that. I want to be able to control that. So I put the delay or the volume pedal after all of that. And then I can do things like this. If I put all this back on very quickly. So if I set my guitar volume to three. Very clean, clear. But if I set it to 10, then even the first time it comes in, the amp is being pushed because my guitar is fully up. Um, and then you could even take a step further and add the drive. So that gets pretty crazy. And I really enjoy having that option to cover all those different shades, if you will. Um, and then really the only other thing I have on this preset is a rotary. So I'm not a big person to use modulation, but this is one that I actually really kind of enjoy. Um, And then I have the rotary set the speed linked to the, my second expression pedal. So listen to this. So I can get that ramp going, uh, which I really like. So that is my live preset. Um, the name of the game for me is to have one setup, but then have all these different uh, options. I really like gray. I don't like black and white. I, I, do, I like being able to kind of sit in between all these things. So I will combine them all together. You know, like fuzz and rotary is this really interesting. <laughs> But then I could also do rotary with uh, some delays and some reverbs. So again, the name of the game for me is being able to access all these different sounds. So that's why I use one preset and I just have everything available with, I use the parallel effects, I use the X and Y in order to get the combinations that I really want. The volume play, pay, pedal is placed exactly where I need it to be. I use the controls on my guitar combined with the fuzz, combined with the EQ as a boost, and I can cover all the bases that I need in one preset. So. 
with all that, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'd love to know how you guys set up your presets for live playing, whether using Axe Effects or an amp and pedals or whatever. I would be very interested to hear your thoughts down below. So let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye.